Alright, what was your high school days like? Well, they were a long time ago, I can tell you that. But they were a lot of fun. A lot of good classes and good times. Where did you go? Spanish Fork High School. What year? Uh, 62 to 64. Mm, like, what were some classes that are in your memory or people in them or what? Uh, probably music, acapella, band. Did you play anything? You were, Trumpet. You were to play? As in South Pacific. The play? The play, our class did South Pacific. Alright, uh, what'd you do on weekends? As a high school student? I don't remember. What did I do on weekends? Probably just hung out with my friends and went on dates. Anyone in particular? Not her. <laughs> That's not very nice. Well, I didn't meet her till after I got out of high school. Oh, okay. That's Grandma Sherry, by the way. This is Grandpa Dave. Um... Yeah. Anything particular you want to talk about? Uh, no, I was in a couple of car clubs when I was in high school. I had a 57 Bel Air Chevy, and now I have another one. So, uh, that's about it. Yeah. It's been restored by myself and my son-in-law. We go to a lot of car shows, and we have a lot of fun in it. Yeah. Does Grandma have anything to say about high school? Well, I dated Dave all through my high school, because he was out of high school before I started. And when I was a sophomore, we started going out together in his 57 Chevy. So it's been fun to have it back. It's not the same one, obviously. We went... 20 years and then bought it again, bought one that looked like it again and restored it. I was in the acapella also, Spanish Fork High School, had a really good music system. I didn't play any high school sports. Dave forgot to tell you he played football for Spanish Fork High School. And we dated all three of my high school years. And as soon as I graduated, we got married. And that was 45 years ago. So we've had dang fun. That's good. What did you do on weekends? Anything fun, particular? Most of the time I was with him because I dated him all through high school. We went to all the high school dances together. And there was a girls club that I belonged to that I used to do things with the girls. Not very often. Most of the time I pretty much hung out with just Dave. I, I don't know. Local burger joints? Oh yeah. There's a place called Glades in Spanish Fork that's still there 45 years later. And they had the best hamburgers and Cokes and french fries. But my friend's dad opened a frost top, which was a root beer joint at the time and they had car hops and so he hired all of Barbara's friends to be like car I mean car hops and it was really fun because you'd go out to the car and serve them their root beer and that was on the north end of Main Street and Glades was on the south end of Main Street so most of the time you just drug Main back and forth to either one of the burger joints to see who was on Main Street or what was going on. We used to have dances at the Memorial Building and they'd have disc jockeys and music and it'd cost you a dollar to get in and we'd all go to it. And my dad wouldn't let me take the car so I always had to walk to it. What was your family like? My family was interesting. I have an older sister that's five years older. I have a brother that's five years younger so we were really spread out in age. So I really wasn't friends with either of them because my sister thought she was too old for me and I obviously thought I was too old for my brother. So we all kind of just lived our own separate lives at our house. And my dad was an electrician at Geneva Steel, which was a 
big industrial place down in Utah County. My mother was a stay-at-home mom and she liked to bake and cook and have bread and all them fun kind of things. I lived across the street from the elementary school so there was lots of kids around the house and stuff like that. All right. What was your family like? I had two older brothers and three younger sisters and uh, I, there was only a year and a half between me and my one brother, so we were fairly close. Uh, my dad owned a grocery store and was a meat cutter, and my mom worked there occasionally, but was mostly a stay-at-home mom. And uh, because he owned his own store, we went on very few family vacations. So uh, Sherry and I have done a lot of vacationing together to kind of make up for the vacations that I didn't have as a kid growing up. Well, all right, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome.